All right, so this can be done in a lot of ways. Okay, for example, here, if I right now we selected the brush, right? Even in Photoshop, you can actually go on the internet and you have brushes which actually are brushes with the, you can say the mold of steam. Okay, so you can literally like type steam brushes, take a brush and start drawing a steam like this and reduce, play around with the opacity, it'll give you a very subtle effect like that. I'm not showing that approach because I want to show something which is like right there inside Photoshop. It can be done without the need of importing anything else. But I'm, I'm just making a point that this can be done in a lot of ways. What I'm going to show you is probably, probably the easiest way to add steam. Okay, you're going to be surprised how easy it is. Literally going to take us two clicks. Okay, so let's see. So the first thing is we are not going to add steam on this image itself. Okay, we're going to create a new layer so that we can re reduce the opacity of that layer, make the steam very subtle later on. That's the main thing. So we're going to actually add this icon here. We're going to click on this create a new layer so you can see it's a transparent layer so you can see here this these checkered marks thing that you see means there's nothing it's a transparent background and we can draw anything on it so now what we're going to do is we have a brush selected we have white color selected okay i'm just going to decrease the opacity a bit and we're simply just okay going to draw just a steam like this okay so right now it's going to look pretty bad don't worry about that okay then just uh I'm reducing the size of the brush by using the square bracket keys and just draw again. Just keep making it smaller, just drawing random lines basically which keep getting smaller, okay? Kind of is going to produce that steam effect. And if you're thinking this is going to be the steam, don't worry. Okay, I have spent enough time with Photoshop to not leave it like this, okay? So don't worry, we're going to do something. So uh, what we're going to do here is now, just literally, it's just going to take us one click which is we're going to click on this option which, uh, where is it? We're going to go to filter. So with this layer selected, make sure this layer is selected, the steam layer. And we're going to go to this option which says render. And we're going to click on difference clouds, okay? Let's just click on that. And you can see it just gave us this really nice looking steam, which obviously right now also is not looking good, but at least that whole thing is just kind of giving it this cloud-like effect, which makes things very random. This was the reason I was creating those extra lines, because when it does this, you want to have some things which were more bright, some things which were slightly darker, okay? But obviously this is not looking good at all, so we're going to reduce the opacity. That's the layer. That's the reason why this was on a separate layer, okay? As you can see here, really going to make it subtle. Because if you actually capture steam, it comes very subtle, okay? It doesn't come out too loud. Some people really uh, make the steam too loud. It has to be really subtle, otherwise it looks very fake, okay? And here, what we're going to do with the steam is, and by the way, if I wanted to make it strong, I can always just duplicate this layer, okay? So if I do this, it's just going to keep adding, okay? I don't want to do that. I want to actually keep it as translucent as possible. I can, best part about having it on this layer is I can move it around anywhere. We're going to make this effect that this is coming from this. I can also, if I remember, we use that shortcut Control and T, which stands for transform or command and T. We can also access that from here, transform, okay? So we can use this option which says warp, okay? So we can click here. And we can actually just even change its shape, okay? You get this grid-like thing. And you can kind of, you know, mess with the whole shape of this particular stick, okay? Yes. Because we want to, the point is we want to make it as random as possible, okay? And I'm going to click on Enter. So I don't even mind actually adding another layer so let's just duplicate another layer okay move it slightly here really reduce the opacity okay and again i'm gonna go to edit with this new layer selected transform uh, here and really just you know just playing around with this just so that because sometimes you must have seen that just uh, you know next to the steam also a bit of um, it kind of goes in random directions, right? Also a bit. We're just trying to make it as real as possible. Okay. Click on OK. And, oops, I definitely did something here. Okay. Okay. 
you don't want to actually overdo this. That's what I think I did it, did last time. Yeah, that's fine. You reduce the opacity. Okay, even I think it's the opacity of this. Yeah. And now what I can do is I can just merge these two. And again, use layer mask always, okay? So, because we don't want exactly the steam coming out like this, we just want to at least have it a bit random. So I'm going to remember this time. So white means everything is being shown and wherever, just I want to just dab somewhere, you know, at least just some parts where, just to give it more random effect with black. So black is going to, if we paint with the black, it's actually going to take away from those areas where we just hit, make sure the opacity is really less here and let's just see what happens. If I click on black, it just takes away from there. It's just starting to reveal the bottom layer which didn't have the steam, okay? And you can see here. Okay. Again, this is a bit subjective. Uh, I could have just stopped after I did the first layer, okay? I think, just I think maybe, out of excitement, I just overdid things, but it's okay. Just use the opacity. Let's just zoom out. Let's see how it is looking. Yeah. Okay. We might need a bit of layer masking. Like for example, this part is not looking good. Okay. Yeah. So overall, I think this looks pretty good that we've been able to add. And like I said, if even if I've just would have taken that one step, of creating the right thing, going to different clouds, that's it. You know, not duplicating nothing and just reducing the opacity. I think even that was kind of giving us the same look. I maybe overdid things, but this you'll get good with once you do it again and again, and you kind of start to get uh, a more natural looking steam, okay? So I think this is looking pretty good. And finally, I'm gonna save this shot, and then we're gonna compare this shot with all the level shots that we've taken till now. So let's do that. All right, so let's start this whole process again. This was level one, this was level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, and finally, I think this definitely looks the best out of all of them, right? So this is uh, level seven. I'll see you in the next video. We will try to improve this shot further.